Hello friends, welcome, welcome to a cheeky bit of CC shopping with me. Now I'm unsure how long this video is going to go on for. As you can see on the top here, I have pulled out some tabs on the internet of CC that I've either been really wanting to download, like this page for example. This is uh, Logical Sims, aka Josh. Um, he is an amazing CC creator, but I've always wanted to kind of just leave his stuff until I'm ready to use it because I know I've been itching to use it. As with a lot of other thing, uh, creators, um, Harry as well, or Sam, who's one of my dear friends, I've been wanting to use her CC. So we're going to have a little gander at that today as well. And also some suggestions from you guys that you left in my last video. And also just some random things that I've managed to pull together and find myself. And uh, what we're going to do, we're going to go around and trawl for the kind of first half an hour of this video. And I'm going to, we're going to pick some things out and download them. And then we're going to get into game and sort of see what they look like actually in game. But first things first, I really want to check out this modern living CC stuff by Logical Sims because it looks absolutely amazing. And I've been itching and itching to try this these objects. I love these little egg chairs here. And this TV unit is absolutely amazing. It fits in with the aesthetics of the game perfectly, in my opinion. Um, same with these chairs and everything here. That table is absolutely amazing. I cannot wait to use this. I really can't. Um, but yeah, gorgeous pieces. Lovely, lovely little coffee table there. Or what I think is a coffee table. Desk. Lovely, lovely. We're going to see what swatches we've got on this because obviously they've gone for a very aesthetic green look here. Here it is in white, which is most probably where I'm going to be going with it. Um, but I think we'll get with this one. We'll grab this one. We'll grab the merged package and download it into game. Um, and then we'll go and have a look at the sleek kitchen stuff as well. Okay, so this is the sleek kitchen CC stuff. Now, I love the fact that Josh creates his own renders and stuff to be able to go in with his objects. I absolutely love it. He's such a talented, talented simmer. If you have not checked his stuff out, as always, and with everything in this video, I will link it down in the description box below. So go and check it out because it, it is just absolutely amazing. Love these little island counters here. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. And the freestanding ones, which is cool because I don't know if you could be able to put like a washing machine and slide it in like underneath of it. But I am itching to kind of find this out. Same with these lights. I love this ring light. I've had my eye on this light for a while. I would like to have it in my game. And that is where it's going to go today. But yeah, this is just beautiful. I love it. I'm so excited. Look at these beautiful chairs as well. Oh, I'm itching. I'm itching to place this in my game. I really am. And this coffee, this, this dining room table is absolutely lovely too. Nice glass dining room table. I'm always scared of glass tables. But in The Sims, it doesn't matter so much. So I'm going to get this and download this into game as well. Yeah. Now, he's also got an itemized area with... Uh, objects that he has made or I don't know if he's recolored them or whatnot but I really want to just check a few of these things out ceiling fans I'm not too fussed on ceiling fans full height glass sliding door let's have a look at you oh so it is the one that we've got in game already this one here but it actually fits in with the windows themselves so I am having this thank you please that will download that into game thank you very much is that downloaded it certainly is um yeah, I've been, we've, I don't understand the EA team's thought process on not making the doors fit with the windows themselves. That always bothered me, I tell you. Bothered me. Medium wall height, we'll grab that as well. We'll grab it as well. Okay, so we've got the medium height one in game two. Uh, mega TV cabinet, what's this here? Let's have a look at you. It's very traditional. It's not really the style I'm trying to go for. The house that we're going to be building next for the Let's Build New Crest series is going to be a, not a starter home as such, but I'm going to give a maximum of 60,000 simoleons to build this house. And it is going to be home to a uh, older couple. So uh, two elders and their grandson. They actually have full custody, custody of their grandson. So we're going to be going into a different area of New Crest and... Um, Building something semi-modern, semi-modern, but again, still with some English vibes. That's exactly where we're going to go with it. Right, let's get rid of you. Let's have a little look down here. Seamless wall mirror. Oh, do we need some more uh, decor sets? What's this? 
What are you? Mm, we don't really need that. That's not going to fit in with what we're going to be building next. I cannot wait to start this one. It's going to be cool. Probably uh, be a bit shorter than the last build because of the aesthetics that we're going to be placing in there. It's not going to be too um, kind of stacked full of things and stuff. I'm going to fail at this voiceover today. So just to pre-warn you, that will be happening. Bar tables? Let's have a little look at this as well. Bar tables? Oh, let's have a look. Yes, we need this in the game. We're going to be downloading all the stuff. Um, separated bar tables. I'll just take the package, please. Thank you very much. Uh, do I need to extract this? Nope. All done for me. Lovely jubbly. Right, and we'll get rid of you as well. I'm going to fail at keeping these tabs open as well. A squarely toddler mini table. No, not interested. Squarely there, modular sofa. Ooh, can we like separate these? This is cool. I really enjoy this. Wondering if we could separate them. I reckon this piece here comes off. <gasps> oh, okay, I get it. Okay, yep, I, I'll have that. Thank you. I'll have that as well, if you don't mind. Did we download that? I think we did. I think we did. Right, and illumination modular sofa as well. Mm, I don't really like that sofa. That's one of the ones in game that I'm not that keen on. Um, single tile door. Um, no, I'm good with that. Good with that. Let's have a look at the season's bed. Nope, I can't. Not with the season's bed. I'm going to try and sort of keep this part quite short so i'm not going to go through everything we've got here but you guys really really need to go and check out like his modern living cc stuff and same with the sleep kitchen it is absolutely amazing what we're going to do next blah, blah, blah. what we're going to do next we're going to slip on over and check out the sims 4 ikea stuff from mod from i don't know who it's done i'll see you in a minute so this is the Sims 4 IKEA home stuff. Now, I got told about this from one of you guys in the comments. I have, I'm unsure as to who told me. Um, it is done by a creator called Simsy45, I think. If I'm sure that's who it's by. It's the entire Sims 2 IKEA home stuff. So it's like a conversion. Um, let's watch the trailer. So yeah, I'm just muting the music just in case I get um, flagged for any kind of copyright. But yeah, this is done by Simsy45. So some of this stuff looks really, really cool. And I love the trailer and what they've done with it. It's very professional and almost quite legitimate, actually. So I am very excited about this. Relax in a vibrant bedroom. Ooh, so it is like the converted stuff. This bed's cool. Love <laughs> these like paper lantern bag um, light things. I really enjoy them. Drawers, they're really cool as well. I always see those drawers in The Sims 4. Let's have a little look at what we can see here. Oh, excuse you. It's getting a bit fruity in there, darling. Um, okay, this is nice. I love this. Love the bed frame as well. Cool, cool, cool. I'm just trying to see if I can see anything jumping out. This light here I'm interested in and the mirror. Okay, okay, let's carry on. Let's see what we've got. Oh, create a trendy office. That chair's really cool. Lovely. Yes. Well, here we go. Look, this is cool. I love this chair here. And this desk is amazing. I'm definitely going to enjoy this stuff. Uh, and thank you guys for letting me know about this because I had no idea this was a thing. Design a living room. This sofa is amazing as is this chair. I am very excited about this, darlings. Very excited about this. Okay. Ooh, they're cool. Just very clean, minimal. Um... Yeah, I enjoy that. I'm just trying to sort of see what I can see here. There's lots of stuff, people. Lots of stuff. Those transitions are so fast. I'm like, ah, over 60 items. That's crazy. Yeah, I love how they've done this video. It's very legitimate. Very legitimate to how The Sims 4 would release a pack. I absolutely love this. I'm going to give this a little like. Give this a little like, Simsy. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm excited for this. I'm excited for this. Looks cool. We're going to do it. We're going to download it. Um, and we'll have a look at it in game. I think that's the best way to do it. But I think we'll jump on to the next one. Uh, or the next piece of CC magic that I've found. So, this is by mode by the Jim 7 Somebody had told me about this. Now, I have not looked through anything of this yet. So, I am going to trawl through and have a look at 
little look at some of the stuff. Um, I'm interested in this fireplace tool set from The Sims 3. Is this for The Sims 4 though? Um, it looks like it from the graphics. Kind of interested in this. That could be a decorative little thing to put down by fireplaces and stuff. Yeah, we'll grab that. We'll grab that. Lovely jubbly. Let's get back where we were. Ooh, wall rug, coffee tables. Nice. Very kind of traditional stuff from what I'm seeing so far with this. Um, Gothic scene recolors. This is the recolors of all of the um, Sims 4 vampire stuff. Now I'm interested in the futuristic living and dining rooms. Ooh, okay. Ooh, love that. That's cool. And that coffee table. Yeah, I'm going to be downloading this. Um, why do I recognize this? Is this from the... Oh, it's from The Sims 3. That's why I was like, I recognize some of this stuff. Yeah, we're going to be having that. Straight in my basket. <laughs> That's an old meme, isn't it? Futuristic bathroom. Ooh, ooh, look at this shower. Again, yeah, I thought I recognized this. This is from The Sims 3, isn't it? The Sims 3 stuff. Okay, we're having this as well. Just going to download all of the things. Rip to my mods folder. That's all I can say. Um, yeah, that's all I can say after this. Um, I did see a futuristic bedroom set as well. Yep, yeah, from The Sims 3. We're going to be having that too. Uh, we'll have a look at that in game. We'll have a little goosey at that in game. I think that'd be the best way to do it. Okay, so we downloaded them. We've got them into the downloads folder. I just need to extract them and get them into game and stuff. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, I like this. Lots of recolors as well. Yeah, I do like that. Coffee tables. Yeah, I'm interested in that as well. Let's get you into game. Thank you for showing me this creator, guys. Like, I'm into it. I'm into it. Let's go on to the next one, shall we? Um, modern t dining table and chair. Mm, I think we got enough tables and chairs for the minute. There might be some that would jump out into my eye. Jump out into my eye? Is that the saying? It is now. <laughs> it is now. Uh, cool. They've got loads of good stuff, actually. Be interesting to see what... I'm not going to download any traditional stuff because I'm going to leave that for uh, Sam CC because she's got a lot of beautiful traditional recolors of some furnitures, which I'm very interested in seeing. Gothic glamour. Let's have a little goose at you. Oh my, that is very glamorous. That would take someone's eye out. That's very pretty though. I do like those sofas, but those are a bit, ooh, they're a bit much. They're a bit much for me. My darlings. Um, I mean, this is just going off into all kinds of stuff now. Egyptian relics. So yeah, more along the lines of traditional, but wow. The Dim 07, your stuff is absolutely amazing. I'm looking forward to using it. Anyway, on to the next creator. So this is my darling friend, Sam, aka Harry. Uh, she is a new CC creator. She is just getting into it, but she has done some amazing stuff with her heritage collection so she has got like a 35 piece heritage collection with love seats with lots of lovely sort of different swatches this one here always came in very kind of garish swatches so i'm looking forward to playing around with a few of the stuff now i have downloaded this stuff and had a look at everything so it is actually already in my game um oh i've have had it in my game i just haven't found a house that I could have used it on yet. As but as for now, I have got one, and I cannot wait to play around with it. I really can. Oh, it's a nice little Ottoman. Hey, look at the swatches. This mirror we always made. This is what Sam uh, and a relevant Sims, who is another lovely friend of mine, they kind of got this idea with this sort of like big frame from the vampires with the mirrors behind it, and you could actually do it with move objects on. And I used to um tease Sam and said it was my idea when it wasn't. It was hers, but she has made it into a piece of CC now, so it's definitely hers. <laughs> but I am very excited for this. Very excited. And there is a part two of this collection as well, so it does go into the bedrooms. And this is all obviously base game stuff, but with a lot better swatches. Now, Sam has got an amazing eye for colour, um, and this wallpaper behind it is absolutely stunning. I cannot wait to play around with this. It's going to be absolutely amazing. 
um, and I can't wait to show you guys it as well. So yeah, go ahead and give Sam a cheeky follow on YouTube as well because she does. She is the builder, if you don't know, um, and see what her stuff is like. Um, and anyway, this is something that I'd found. This is the Colonial Build Windows. These just really appeal to me because it's got this beautiful kind of Georgian-esque window to them. And I love the arch windows as well. And to me, it looks like... Oh, no, maybe it's not. Let's ignore what I was just about to say. Move on. Um, but I don't know. I'm just really looking forward to trying to put these into a build somehow. And I reckon they fit quite nicely into a Georgian-esque build, which obviously will be coming with this. Uh, let's build because we just need some Georgian things in our life. So I'm going to download those colonial windows and move on. Anyway, sorry, this was by Adonis Pluto. I forgot to say who the creator was, but I, as always, as I said, I will always link everything down below that you guys can go and grab for yourselves. Um, and this is just randomly mod the Sims with the build mode object. So I thought we could just trawl through this and see what we can pull out together. Now, I have not been and looked through this yet. Um, I wanted to save it for this video. So I am kind of excited if we... I'm kind of excited to see if we see any CC that we're going to grab. Now, this is a... He, Bakey Gaming, if you or Backy Gaming, is one of my favorite, favorite um, mod creators. He does some amazing stuff. So make sure I've sung his praises before, but make sure you go and um, give him a cheeky follow over on YouTube as well because his stuff is absolutely amazing. I am very interested in this, but they look very low for paneling. I don't know if they're going to be too low. Paneling usually comes up to around about there, but um, eh, I love the coving at the top. That's absolutely gorgeous. Mm, we'll download it anyway. We'll download it anyway and we'll see what we think of it when it's in game. We'll have a little look at it. We'll have a goose. We'll have a goose. Uh, let's have a little look. What have we got here? Maxis match hardwood floors? Ooh, I've got enough wooden floors really. Well, maybe. Sometimes wooden floorings with CC, it just, just looks so alpha and I can't with it. Um, but other times there are some really great ones out there. But if I do use wooden flooring, I tend to stick with Peacemaker just because I absolutely love the stuff he creates. As you guys know, <laughs> I am very, very much into it. Very much into it. Oh, recolors of these doors. <gasps> oh, yes. I want to. Um, oh, no, don't want comments. I definitely want to get there because I've wanted a black, black door of this as well. I've wanted that in game for a while. So I'm glad it's there. Now, I'm not going to go through every page in these CC videos. I do want to try and keep the CC videos round about kind of 40 minutes long. Um, so excuse me if I do miss stuff. But these will be coming. If you enjoy them, then they will be coming to the channel a lot more. Um, and just to let you guys know as well, this whole series, every single build won't have cc in them i will be mixing it up here and there and doing like a base game plus build as well so a base game and using only like parenthood or something i want to try and mix this series up as much as possible and um, i'm kind of interested in these but i know with these they don't have the lighting when it comes through it just look i wanted them to be colored lighting and sometimes when you grab the sort of like stained glass in game it just doesn't look very good so i'm not going to make that mistake and do it again no shade to the creator like you must have worked hard on it but i want to see stained glass in game with the color aspect on it as well um but yeah i'm not really seeing anything that's going to jump up to me i'll go up to page 10 and then i'll move on to the uh buy mode uh with mod the sims and we'll go from there we'll go from there yeah, nothing's really jumping out at me. Cork walls, not for me. Not for me, darling. What? Horses? Horses. Half support oranges. <gasps> Farm and orchard too. The tractor. My boyfriend would absolutely love that. He is completely addicted to farming simulator. He's actually playing on it now. <laughs> He's actually down on it now. Oh, that fireplace is nice. Oh. Oh, I like that. Let's grab you in. We'll see what you look like in game as well, darling. We'll see what you look like in game. Um, okay. Next. Last page. I'm just going to go to 10. Uh, doors, dark lux doors. Love the paneling behind here. This is by the gym 07 as well. So I'm expecting that to be good. Expect Ooh, folding steel glass door. <gasps> oh, let's see what this is. 
left only merged. Let's just have you all. Thank you. Thank you, darling. Right, anyway, let's go on to the buy mode objects. So here we are with the buy mode objects on modthesims.info. Um, dirt on any floor. No, thanks. I'm okay. I'm good with that. Mailboxes don't really appeal to me. Don't really appeal to me. Um, let's hope we can grab some stuff. I'm very interested in maybe getting some new beds or bed coverings. That's pretty. Oh, the bedding just looks a little bit alpha to me. Yeah, I'm not into that. I won't be downloading anything that looks alpha either. I just don't like the way the graphics sit in with the game. Um, so if you see me kind of not turning my nose up at it, it's just it's just not for me personally, my darling. Um, okay. See, nothing's really jumping out to me. I don't know about you guys, but nothing is exploding into my face. <laughs> oh, God. Ooh. Oh, they do look a little bit alpha, though. I mean, we could get them into game and see what they look like. I mean, the graphics aren't too bad, actually. They are a bit clearer here. Yeah, let's grab them. We'll grab these. We'll grab these. Quick wash. Quick wash. Oh, I, I love CC Shop and I'm such a fiend for it, but because the thumbnails are so important to me, so if nothing jumps out to me in the thumbnail, I don't tend to go on and click it. I don't know about you guys. I know what I like, so it's it comes down to that again. It really does. Um, trash can, not interested. No. Mm, oh. No, not interested in that either. We've got enough rugs, really. Got enough rugs in game, darling. Got enough rugs. Even though I did like that from the gym, the Euro 7. That is really pretty. I mean, it is quite alpha, but it is still gorgeous. We'll download it and have a look. We'll download it and have a look in game. The Verse rug. Um, Halo Beauty and Morphe with James Charles. I'd rather die. <laughs> um, let's move on to the next. Ooh. Oh, I just wish it didn't have like all of the ornate kind of things around the top. But I love the little curtain things underneath. That's really pretty. That's a shame. That is a shame. I would have liked to have downloaded that. Right, we're on to page 10. So I think we'll leave this one here. Is that it's a Jason Momoa painting? <laughs> it looks like Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Oh, anyway, here we are. We're on to the puffer head. So I've been wanting to check this pack out and I've been waiting for the right time to be able to check this pack out because I really wanted to do it in like a CC haul video because I'm so excited. This is the puffer head stuff pack. It's a fan made stuff pack by, is it Miley Makes CC or something? I cannot, I'm so sorry if I get your name wrong. Miles, Miles Makes CC. Um, Absolutely gorgeous and a logical simmer from or Josh from the logical simmer actually did the render to this stuff pack so it just looks so legitimate and amazing I'm into it um and I want to make the child that we are moving into this house um I want him to be a big Harry Potter fan or what is it Henry Puffer a Henry Puffer fan um so yeah we're gonna we're gonna do we're gonna do that we're gonna definitely dedicate a full room to the harry potter stuff or henry puffer i think but um yeah so we've grabbed a few bits i think the best thing to do now is go into game i'm gonna lay out the stuff everywhere and we're gonna go around and have a big nose at everything and see what we can find so i will see you guys in a second so my dears we are back and i have styled five rooms using some of the stuff not all of it just to kind of give us an idea of the kind of things that we have downloaded um, all varying different styles as well, which is really great that we got to do that because I absolutely love some of these objects. I really, really do. So I've kind of pulled out my favorites from everything that we did download. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to go down into the first room. So this one here is obviously a little bit. Can we go a bit faster? Thank you. This is obviously a little bit more traditional. This is usually mainly um, Sam's CC. So the heritage collection from Harry. Um, the recolors on these beds are absolutely gorgeous. I, as I said, I have seen them before. They are lovely. 
So I would definitely recommend you guys go and download these gorgeous things. I just thought everything looked really good in this kind of matte black kind of essence. Um, the rug that I wasn't too sure on, I actually don't mind it. Yeah, the graphics don't fit in with the game very well, but I don't know. I just think the detail on it is absolutely incredible. As with that fireplace, like this fireplace is giving me life. Um, I'm not sure what you guys think about it, but I think this is absolutely beautiful. And that there was just on a whim as to what we did download earlier. Mirrors as well, again, by Harry. These are absolutely incredible. Absolutely amazing mirrors. I've always wanted these framed mirrors to become in some really, really great swatches as well. So take a little goose at these. I mean, look at that one. That is beautiful. I love that. Love, love, love. Proper matte black there as well. I just thought it popped it with the silver the most against this black and stuff. But I absolutely love it. And these doors here. These doors were the ones that um, we downloaded with... Well, it was the recolors of the... What pack did you come with? Strangerville. Um, yeah, the recolors of that. So it only comes in a black, but it is a solid black and they all come in. It's just, I love it. I'm here for it. I absolutely adore it. If you're wondering where this floor is from, I'm not too keen on this floor. Um, I would have preferred if this like bit here was still in line with it. I don't understand like why they had to kind of have that pattern through it. But mm, the main reasons I love this floor Oh, I just I just copied the rug because the rub's ma massive. There we go. Um, the main reason I love this floor are the swatches. There are so many swatches with this flooring. It is absolutely unbelievable how many swatches this comes with. So I would recommend it to you, but that was just my only kind of fault with it. I'm not really keen on that little weird um sort of like out of place plank but i get it it's supposed to be shabby but i don't know repetitive textures it doesn't sit well with me um and the windows so these windows were the ones that we downloaded as well um i'm just going to get rid of one of these just so you can see them a bit better now i love the shape of them i love how thin the frames and everything are and the size of them as well the only thing i'm not keen on is that they haven't really got a glass texture they are literally kind of just see-through. So that's the only deal I'm not really enjoying about these windows. You'll see them a bit better in another room that we've styled. Um, not really keen on that fact, but I will use them because I absolutely adore the shape of them. If you guys know any Georgian windows that you would recommend to me with glass, that would be preferable, um, then pop it down in the description box, comment box below. And yeah, thank you very much. On to the next room. Why am I looking up there? The camera's there. <laughs> um, so what I wanted to go for, let's get the lighting down a bit. Let's go to that lighting. So what I wanted to go for with this room is very kind of Ikea, Scandi vibes. So there are mixtures of the CC we have downloaded in this room. Um, loving those circle mirrors. I think they're really cool. Love this here. Love, 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 love this here. Um, I can't remember who did this. I think it was um what was his name again where are you why can i never see anything that is selected oh it's down there look there we are um this is by the gym 07 so i yeah i i'm all for this i think it's such a cool little uh console unit and this wardrobe as well this wardrobe is lovely obviously everything does come in a few swatches nothing too crazy with the swatches with these they kind of kept them um sort of monochrome which i'm fine with um, not really a fan of these mirrors, but I wanted to pull them out for you guys just to sort of see. This is very Ikea. I remember the way, I think everyone on planet Earth had a wave mirror at some point. I know that I did. Well, I didn't. My mum did. She loved it. Loved it. Um, really cool rug. This is from Josh from Illog Illogical Sims. Sorry, Josh. I was like, that looks great. But it's that CC. <laughs> um, lovely bed. Like, I'm in love with this bed. I'm just going to pull the covers off of this and show you the shape of this bed out here. I mean, this is gorgeous. This is by the Gym07. I think this was a re uh, sort of upload of the Sims 3 one. Yeah. So it is by the Gym07. Um, I just love the shape of it. I think it's really cool, really futuristic. And I think it suits that bed in really well. This is a Peacemaker bedspread, by the way. Um, I didn't download any new bedspreads. Uh, love these side tables again from the same collection here and these lights are giving me life i love them absolutely love them 
Love it. it. Reminds me of books for some reason, like stacked books. I love that. Side tables, amazing. Love the use of plant and stuff underneath of it. Um, Ikea lamp, very big Ikea lamp. And now these are the full size sort of slidey doors that I downloaded. Love them. Really looking forward to seeing how they work in game. As with these ones, these were the ones that kind of fold outwards. So I'm really interested to see what these look like. Uh, we'll have a little play around with those uh, when we actually start building and I'll sort of test it and see what it looks like when they actually do. And again with the light as well. Love this light, this teardrop light. This is from um, the Gym 07 as well, I think. I really, really think it is, and I was correct. Yes, it is. So, loving it. Love the feel of that room. Very Scandi. Very nice. On to the next room. So, this is the kitchen. Obviously, it's not laid out like a proper kitchen. I just wanted to get some stuff out and sort of show you guys. That light is wonky and you're annoying me. There you go. Lovely. Um. So, yeah. Most of this kitchen, or if not all of it, <laughs> apart from the subway tiles, which are Peacemaker, and this tile down on the floor, which is in-game, and I think it's from City Living uh is f and everything else is from illogical sims which is amazing i love this bar i will definitely be using this bar at some point unsure as to what build that will be going in all of these artworks as well which are lovely and these lovely little lights as well which is from the gym 07 i love them really really enjoy them looking forward to using them too and i love the fact that with this it kind of separates so you can have it on like a countertop and stuff as well. I think. I'm not too sure. I could be incredibly wrong with that. Uh, also loving this little egg chair. Absolutely love it. And obviously these all come in various different swatches. Uh, really like the green and grey one. That's really cute. Loving. I'm definitely going to get a lot of use at this. As with this sink. Love this sink too. Uh, I think this is from the Gym 07 as well. But this sink here which is by Josh. I love the fact that the tap comes straight out from the wall. I am all for it. And these ring lights, which I said earlier on, I absolutely love. So I'm definitely going to be getting a whole lot of use out of them. And again, using those slidey doors on this side as well. So which I think is pretty cool. Pretty cool. And I'm, yeah, can't wait to use it. On to the next. So this is a living area that is very crammed in with stuff because there was too much stuff for the living area. So it wouldn't work well as a living area because you can't move anywhere. Well, you probably would. But anyway, <laughs> so this modular sofa, I thought that it was going to be kind of disconnected, but it's not. It just comes as a one sort of piece, but I'm very much here for it. And I love the use of this sofa in game. I think it's going to be really cool to kind of separate off rooms and such. As with this coffee table, very, very nice. As with these chairs or sofas, sorry, and the coffee table underneath there. I would have liked to have seen a different texture used for the plants underneath, but I understand that it's coming from The Sims 3, so the graphics might different, differ a lot. Um, and I've really enjoyed these uh, armchairs. Now, I wasn't too keen on the sofas that go with these. They look a little bit weird, um, but I'm going to have to get them in game and sort of see around that, like with my eyes in the actual sort of gameplay. I think that would be the way to go. Uh, lamp is from... I think this is from Josh as well. Uh, nope, completely sorry. It's not. It's the Punisia, which is from the Ikea stuff pack. Sorry, Josh. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> um, and this is the TV unit at the back uh, with the separate TV where you can actually fit in there as well, which is really cool. I'm really, I really like this. This is very Ikea to me. Now, obviously, things are... I'm sure these are supposed to be like see-through boxes. That's what I'm guessing, like transparent boxes. But I was looking at them like, oh, is the mesh or the texture on them going weird? But I don't think they are. I think they're supposed to be like that. Um, but yeah, I love I love everything in here. And again, with this sideboard and this lamp on top too, which is really cool. Love that little lamp. That comes with the IKEA pack as well, as does this cityscape generic basic painting that I see in every Ikea and Dunelm in the land. <laughs> um, but yes, I didn't want to get all of this out because I really want to enjoy doing the kind of Harry Potter-esque bedroom. But I did pull a lot of the stuff out from this pack and my God, it is so well done. Obviously, this doesn't belong in here either. And there are a few little bits that didn't, but I just thought it fit with the aesthetics of this room. Um, I cannot wait to create the little kids bedroom in this next let's, bu let's 
build uh, episode. I'm really, really looking forward to it. So we won't wander too much on that. I just wanted to give you guys the basic sort of feel of this pack in particular because I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. I really do. Let's have a little look at the night. Oh, I didn't put a light in here, damn. But everything looks really great. The lights look really cool, lit up. Yeah, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. But yeah, I think that is the way to go with it. Now, I'm unsure how this format is going to carry out um, of this CC shopping. I might change it up in the future, but I just literally sat down, recorded, and went through loads of stuff. Um, let me know if you enjoyed it and if you want to see any more, because we can still keep these coming to the channel. Um, but other than that, I will see you in my next Let's Build, which will probably be coming out either Wednesday... Um, and then I'll try and get another one out towards the end of the week as well. So I'll try and get two of the Let's Build episodes out this week. Um, but yeah, as for now, I will see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.